What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Miss Golden83, and I am here to do an all my love reading for the sign of Leo, okay? Leo, you guys are second during the Zodiac lineup for group one. Hopefully, you guys are doing well. Remember, you guys, these are general messages, not personal. So, take what resonates and pass the rest to the next, okay? So, um, just a little pre-read information, okay? If you guys don't know already, I usually sit in y'all's energy for a minute. I shuffle the decks before I even, you know, start recording. And the biggest thing that I feel is that you guys want a lot when it comes to your relationship, okay? Um, or love in general, all right? Um, I was shuffling, not this one, but the Romance Angel deck. And after I finished literally going through the, the shuffling, the cutting of the deck, and I was getting ready to like place it down, somehow the deck just accordioned out, like showing, you know, the, the cards, the meaning on, on the other side. And so... I take that to mean you guys want a lot. There's a lot to cover in love in general for you guys. And I would suggest that you guys, and I had to shuffle twice. Now, the only reason why I shuffled twice was because the first time I shuffled, um, it was before I went to go get me something to eat because I, I needed to eat a little something before I started on y'all um, after I did Libra. And so I, I shuffled, I got y'all set to come back and do y'all's energy. And then I felt the universe say, shuffle again. So I went on ahead and I shuffled again. And in doing so, that's when that transpired. Um, so I'm going to shuffle the decks all over again in your reading to just hopefully hone in on the energy of Leo, okay? So it just means to me that you guys want a lot out of love in general. I would suggest that you go and watch your monthly manifestation um, from for February, okay? I would also suggest that you watch the right here and now as well, okay? There is one more preliminary reading, um, which is the heart's desire that's coming up within a day or so. So you can kind of check in on that at a later date though, okay? So kind of let the energy pass because this is a uh, new moon energy today. So um, you may be feeling kind of um, emotions high right now um, in the sense of what you want going on in your love life. Okay. So, but these readings are meant to be in a sense, a little bit more subconscious love um, thoughts. Um, the, if you've been on my channel and you've checked out my playlist, I do have a bring back the intimacy that's for, uh, a little bit more, um, literally intimate readings for you and your partner if you're in a relationship. Okay. So I'm just going to shuffle this first deck here. Last shuffle before we get started. I'm going to pull three. And we're going to cut. The question the universe has for you guys, Leos, is while you want a lot in your relationship um, or upcoming or a potential relationship, um, are you willing to wait? Are you willing to be patient? in order to get that in which you desire the most, okay? Or what you want the most. Um, because it will take time in the sense of raising your vibration high enough to match that in which you are trying to call in, okay? We talk about that a little bit in the readings on this channel a bit, okay? So one from the top, which is your energy, where your energy is, one directly from the bottom, which is the energy of this situation and or person, okay? And then one energetically from the middle. And 
I was gonna go for one, but I think I'm gonna go for this one. Okay, and that is the energy between you and your person and or situation, okay? So let's see where your energy is right now, Leos. And we have spontaneity, okay? Spontaneity, okay? It says you move beyond the constraints of the mind and freely and lovingly embrace new situations, okay? As we know, spontaneity um, from spontaneous, okay? In a sense of that's where your energy is. Maybe you're tired of playing things safe. You like doing things spontaneously, okay? And so you pretty much embrace anything new. So you could be pretty lively in the sense of um, either meeting someone new or with your person. Get in where you fit in, okay? But you definitely move beyond that, okay? Of, like I said, restricting yourself or constraining yourself. You just live in the moment, all right? That's where you are now. Possibly, you know, new love interests of some sort around this new moon, all right? Next, let's look at the energy of the situation and or person, okay? Whichever one works for you. Freedom, okay? Freedom. Freedom says you are releasing any self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness, okay? Through the loving energy of openness, okay? Now, Leos, you could be in a situation of just riding the wave, okay, of this particular situation or whoever comes your way next. Maybe you once before put a lot of standards and wants and desires on a relationship, like I mentioned, you know, at the beginning um, with the cards coming out all, all together, um, wanting so much. Maybe this time you're learning to just let things flow, okay? Um, which is the, the best way to be, okay? Um, there will be a sign given to you when it's time to really start, you know, caring about standards and stuff. Maybe you just got out of something and you want to do something crazy, something wild. Um, <laughs> I'm feeling, with these cards so far coming out, I'm feeling a lot of base chakra work going on primarily from your root chakra to that solar plexus okay i'm not really feeling a lot of uh sacral although um it is there it's in between those two but i'm feeling more so that root chakra in that solar plexus okay wanting to find the joy again of just um maybe that dating phase of a situation but not really trying to be linked in or, you know, um, exclusive or monogamous relationship, okay? is not on your radar right now. You just want to have fun, okay? You want to be free. You don't want to be tied to anyone just yet, okay? So that's the vibe that I'm feeling, all right? Lastly, what is the energy between you and the situation and or person? This would be considered your overall outcome of the situation between the two. And it's transformation, okay? Transformation, which says you use the power of love to move through illusions and shift into awareness. You use the power of love to move through illusions and shift into awareness. Transformation, okay? Now, transformation could be, like I said, knowing when the right time is to be serious with someone and be monogamous, okay? Um, in other words, an awareness also for some of you, it could be in the sense of maybe needing to be a little bit careful um, and transform the connection in a way that's suitable for both you and the other person, okay? Um, because there may be a transition of awareness on both ends 
not just one in the sense of maybe someone being aware that you don't want something serious and you being aware that they do okay and so it's a thin line okay thus awareness being underlined in this card okay um and italicized <laughs> all right so with that being said let's go ahead and get into the next deck i'm gonna light shuffle here and then we'll pull two cards one from the top one from the bottom you can take leo uh both of the messages for yourself or you can take both messages and put it towards the situation and or person that you're dealing with. You can also take one of each, one for yourself and one towards the situation or person, okay? However you want to do it, whatever seems to resonate for you, okay? I give you that choice to do so. If anything pops out while I'm doing this light shuffle before I cut, I'll take it as one of your messages. If not, we'll just move forward. And I'm going to stop there, okay? I will say when I was shuffling this deck that a lot of cards <laughs> really kind of caught my eye a little bit. Um, so again, that kind of plays into um, possibly either what you want or what your person wants. Okay. One from the top and one directly from the bottom. I'm going to put this over here. And let's see what we have. All right. First message for Leo is paradise. Okay. Paradise. Got a little island here with a palm tree and a sun. It says happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Okay. I more so am paying attention to the playfulness and enjoying each other. Okay. Um, it's a, a happy phase in a way between you and this person feels like paradise. Um, again, that may not be for all of you, may just be for some, okay? But whatever this is to begin with, based off of spontaneity and just on a whim, trying this person on for size is a good time, okay? So it's, it's good in that sense, okay? It feels like paradise, all right? Compared to what you've done in the past of maybe taking things too seriously, whatever the case may be, okay? Or dating uh, people who are a little bit too serious, okay? Next, let's see what the next message is for Leo's. Self-indulgence, self-indulgence, which says focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation, okay? So this could be for a totally separate set of Leos, okay? In the sense of working on yourself, healing from something else. Um, it could be a situation of, you know, again, like I said, maybe getting, maybe you're getting out of something and getting with someone or spot spontaneously getting involved with someone without any strings or anything like that um, is you using that as you know part of your healing process like what better way to get over one person than to get under someone else okay kind of vibe and you really need to care for yourself know what your self-worth is before kind of imposing that toxic energy onto someone who is really an innocent bystander in energetically okay in my personal opinion for me myself uh in a like previous relationship i did that and you know it wasn't really fulfilling in a way because it was in a sense of now that i look back on it <laughs> 
now that I look back on it, you know, that person kind of irritated me in a way because they were super clingy. Um, and I didn't realize in the moment that I was just possibly using that person to heal over another that I wasn't even really fully healed from, um, that I was still kind of attached to. Okay. It was kind of a twin flame situation, um, with a karmic kind of vibe going on. It, it was craziness. But, um, now that I look back on it, that's pretty much what I was doing. Um, because that other person was not available, but we were still kind of tied to each other through mutual friends. And so it was kind of hard to separate myself from that person. Um, and trying to have something else that started to get serious before I really even wanted it to. So, um, it was, it was a very crazy situation. Um, but nonetheless, that's what I feel could be happening with you guys. Okay. We're going to go ahead and move on to the romance angels to kind of wrap up your reading here. Um, Leo's. With the Romance Angels, we are asking, what is the outcome of the energy for Leo? What is the outcome of the energy for Leo's? Okay, one last shuffle here before we cut. Same thing goes here. I'm going to pick two cards, one from the top, one from the bottom. And you can take those however you like one for yourself or one towards a situation and or person okay or both for yourself maybe what you want to happen with this person or love in general one from the top one from the bottom let's see what we have First, Leo's is make the effort. Okay, make the effort. I don't feel like this is really towards you. I think this is the other person trying to make the effort and maybe transitioning into something a little bit more serious. Okay, it says great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay, great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. Okay. So you have these like two children here um, and he's giving her a kiss on the cheek and she's still, you know, staring forward, kind of, you know, semi hugging him a little bit, almost feels like, you know, kind of like the church hug, but not even really hugging him, only really holding the arm in a way. Um, and so, like I said, it's, it could be a little bit one sided. All right. Um, in the sense of you're not ready or vice versa, okay? But someone is trying to make the effort, okay? To make this a little bit more solid eventually, okay? Next, we have religious factors, okay? Religious factors, which says your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path, okay? Okay? Your life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path, okay? Thus, maybe the spontaneity. I don't feel like it's a, a really big issue for you. I think it maybe has hindered your relationships previously um, in the sense of maybe just, again, like I said, your upbringing based off of, you know, how you were raised maybe in a traditional household married, you know, in a church, no eloping kind of thing. Um, so you could be just kind of like rebelling in that sense. Um, maybe I'm not going to say denouncing your faith, but maybe going from highly religious to more spiritual, um, situation, maybe based off of the person that you're dealing with or vice versa. Okay. Um, Nothing wrong with that, but don't let it plague your relationship so much because there's there's a way to look past it or see past it if if you allow yourself to. OK, so you may feel like you were spiritually guided to this person. Um, you may believe in fate. Um, 
and that's fine, but maybe this person doesn't. Um, some people believe in love and first sight. Um, it just means that you're exercising that hopeless romantic within you, okay? Um, if it's not you, it could be the other person, but it's definitely there, okay? Um, kind of hiding dormantly. You're just trying to enjoy the beginning of this energy, okay? So it is due for a transformation somewhere in the sense of possibly some indifferences eventually down the line, okay? So uh, you can continue to take your time, maybe set the tone of the connection um, before it gets, you know, a little bit out of hand for one person on one side feeling they want more, okay? If you're not ready for more, then you might want to say so to start with, okay? Um, so that is all I have for you guys today. Like I said, check out your monthly manifestation. There are some messages there that could be beneficial to you for the month of February. Um, also, check out your right here and now. And I will be doing a heart's desire for you guys um, in a little while. So until then, Leos, peace.